Now, is there a literacy crisis in our state? Advocates say yes and are now suing California, claiming too many students are failing to read and write. Now, the plaintiffs include students, teachers, and parents from some of the poorest performing schools in California. And two of those schools are in Los Angeles and one in Stockton. And CBS 13's Lamar Abrams is in the studio with their demands to improve student achievement. Lamar. Angela and Tony, these advocates simply want the state to step it up. But in this complaint, in this 60 page complaint, it argues that the state has done nothing about students who don't know how to read and write. The plaintiffs, elementary and middle school students, they're staying anonymous, but advocates say their writing samples speak for themselves. Take a look. This is the work of a second grade student identified as Ella T from LaSalle Avenue Elementary in Los Angeles. Ella wrote a letter to the governor, but she can't spell basic words or write complete sentences. Ella T herself um, started the first grade uh, behind and by the end of the first grade she was actually doing worse than when she first started. Barbara Barath is one of several attorneys representing Ella T and other students who can't read and write. They're suing the State Department of Education claiming California schools are in a literary crisis. Who's responsible for this? Ultimately the state is responsible. The lawsuit says the state fails to intervene when a child falls behind. Intervention basically would mean that if you identify that there's a problem with a student or a set of students or school, you would actually go in and intervene and help those students. But most of the people that we are representing in this lawsuit have asked for help and been denied help. Case in point, she says 26 districts in the nation are considered low performing. 11 of them are in California. What exactly is the suit asking for? It's basically just making sure that kids get their constitutional right to an education. But the California Department of Education says they do. A spokesman issued a statement reading in part, California has one of the most ambitious programs in the nation to serve low-income students. Officials say the state invests $10 billion annually for English language learners, students from low-income families, and foster kids. But exactly how the state is helping these failing students and schools is unclear. The state superintendent, Tom Torlakson, declined to comment on pending litigation. But if you'd like more information on the underperforming schools named in the lawsuit, you can find that full complaint on our website. Just visit CBS13.com. There are several reading samples in here. They're interesting. Some from fifth graders who have the reading and writing education of a third grader. Mm -hmm. Sad to see, for sure. Lamore, thank you so much for that. All right, so 